any of you noticed how people are just able to be who they are? The Holy Spirit can't wait to come to to um, to baptize us to fill fill us up. Like the um, stream of living water comes from like sort of like heaven and like to the earth sort of thing. So I was doing that, and then so uh, this is like cityscape I did on the bottom. So I was oh, thinking wow. that how like yeah. like our like praise and our worship goes to the which is the heaven, and then all of a sudden like live, um, stream of living water comes down, and awesome. then like cities kind of sinking. Yeah. So like yeah, so they would like manifestation of like colors from like different people, different culture, diversity, and then like it's all been, like sinking in water. And we had one gentleman who were talking about art and worship, and we just had some people that were going after healing, and we saw about, I think, five people get healed that, that day. And this one man's ear, his ear um, was getting healed. He felt heat, and he felt electricity, and, and he felt things like happening inside. But he wasn't completely healed. But anytime we know that God is moving, we know that he wants to heal it completely. And he was just, because I said, keep contending for 100% healing. And as he's leaving the theater, he heard this huge pop and his ear completely open and he was healed. Yeah. And uh, I've been able to hear fine since then. So thank you, Jesus, for your healing of deafness in the right ear. We have people that paint in our, and do different things within our, our healing rooms. And this one person drew a picture that said the word hope. And this woman came in and she had stage four cancer. And she had a brain tumor, and she could not at all, like, um, move very, very fast. She had problems with her perception, and so the person who was in charge put her right in front of this painting that said the word "help" that a person was was painting, and said, "Just look at that, and God will heal you." So she looks at this <coughs> painting, and the tumor oozes out of her ear, and she's completely oh, healed. She like goes back to the doctor. There's no trace of cancer. She's 100% healed. The next week, Benny Johnson hears about this testimony, grabs the painting, brings it into worship, and said, if anyone needs breakthrough, look at this painting. And this man drew lemons. He had had bipolar, he was had depression, he had been on medication since he was 13 years of age. And he looked at this painting, and God completely healed him of all traces of any mental illness. Mm -hmm. And now he's, he, he was one of our painters, he just moved away last year, and he's involved in doing art up there as well, where he's from in Bozeman, Montana. Why? Because God loves to heal people. Amen. And when we look at something, it brings life and it heals people, and their breakthrough led to your breakthrough. And so today, what if you decided to be free today, who tomorrow will be impacted because you said yes? Who back home, in your church, in your family, in your workplace, who is going to be impacted because you decided to be the best you and to take a leap of faith, to do things you've never done before, to begin to see yourself the way that God sees you. And right now, I just want you just to stand before Jesus and, um, and give Him anything in your life that is not just exuberant with hope. Is there, is there a relationship? Is there a physical problem? Whatever it is, just give, give that to Him to take care of. Let Him take care of your life. It's important that we realize how much God does love us and that we take ownership. So we're going to do a, a painting right now, a picture about anything that we want God to heal or things that, that we gave to Him right now.
the stem. And so um, I feel like God was saying, like, I'm breaking off the thorns um, from the stem. <laughs> um, so it's like breaking off, like, bitterness and unforgiveness and... So That's awesome. And then oh gosh, so you were at the table, Diane, opposite her, and tell us uh -huh. what you created. Well, um, I got the picture of the Rose of Sharon, and um, the thorns are the pain, the chronic pain in my body, and they're just breaking off. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Isn't that yeah. just amazing how God is... He, he uses so, he uses his yeah. visual, but God is speaking about things being broken off, and I feel like that was a, a a really word for everyone here that God is breaking stuff off. And um, in a lot of ways, I'm uh, not very bold with my creativity, and not very like like. We just like them right now, all of us here at the table, and we just rejoice. We like the oranges, the reds, the green apples. Freedom, and we just take out our major fear, feeling like you wouldn't be accepted if you share. Uh, she drew of the eyes of her heart being healed, to also her eyes being healed, and as. <laughs> So we did some really crazy and we put it over her eyes and over her heart, the picture that she drew. And as we've been praying, her eyes have been clearing up and she is seeing better and better. And it's so exciting, yay, Jesus! And he cuts the heart out of us away and gives us a new heart. And there it is. And this is the heart of Jesus he gave us. Oh, wow. This one. And I thank you God because I always wow. thought I have a black heart. And then he said, no, you have, a, I have another heart, you have a black heart. Jesus heart stone. took my heart of stone, my black heart, and he took it away and gave me a new heart of flesh. Yes, and this is his heart, he gave me his heart. A mountain and a valley and a river below and a plane is flying over the valley leaving the past behind, all the restrictions behind, everything, every disappointment, uh, every pain, leave all that behind and soar like an eagle uh, with the Lord, just soar up in the air, total freedom, that's the uh, goal of this, total freedom in God. <laughs> Holy Spirit to show us how we feel about us right now. Just, Holy Spirit, just show them how how does it feel to be them. God, what what colors are are significant to them about who they are at this moment? What they've discovered at worship you, where their future is. God, just show them and and ask Holy Spirit to show you two colors that represent who you are right now. And then you can open up your eyes and then just begin to draw those two, taking two colors from your, from your watercolors, take two colors, and then you can do whatever you want. It doesn't have to have any shape or form. But just and you looked over and it's Papa God and he said I formed you I formed you in your mother's womb I knit you together you are so fearfully and wonderfully made everything that I made in you was amazing I saw every idea that you've had I saw every time 
that you needed love. I, I've seen every time that you've reached out and that you've transformed others. You see, I knew you even before you were born. Every day of your life has been recorded in my book. Every moment was laid out before even a single day has passed. I know, I know how precious, how precious are you to me. In fact, if you were to go to the seashore and try and count all of the, all of the grains of the sand, that, that would be too small compared to my thoughts for you and how I love you. And I want you to know that you are the reason why I sent my son. And you are the reason why I'm talking to you right now. That you would know that this love is perfect. This love is something that will never end. I have a plan for your life. It's a plan to prosper you. A plan to give you not only a hope and a future, but your deepest desires, your longings. Because I see you and I know you. And I want you to encounter my love right now. I want you to feel my love for you right now. To know that I made you for myself. I made you to feel loved. And nothing can separate you from my love. Neither height, nor depth, nor width, or breath, or, or angels, or demons, or, or the present, or the future. Nothing will be able to separate you from my love for you. Just to receive it now. And just let Papa God show you the magnificence of His love. The greatness of His love for you. And I want you to create something in that next square that represents how you feel about your relationship with Papa God. So take two colors and you can draw anything that you want in there. wanting just to, to see the beauty of your life unfold, to see that the colors of your life unfold, the, the radiance of what you were created to be. Every rose was created to bloom. Every tree was created for fruit. There's something inside of you that was created to express the, the Father's heart. And so um, we're going to ask Jesus a question together. So just repeat after me. Say, Jesus, Jesus what, is preventing me what is preventing me from being me? From being me. Just let him speak to you now. Yeah. Take two colors and then just begin to process that, how you feel, and get that out. And let Jesus take that. God, there's something else that you want to show them, and that's their garden in heaven. The place where there's peace, the place where you develop a relationship of where they're headed in the future. And so, God, I pray that you take them up to their garden in heaven. square was the little, little circle um, and when I first drew it I thought it was kind of going to be a sun or something like that but I didn't know which section it would be um, so I felt that that was the first one and I just felt like I'm in a season or about to be in a season of blooming and Come I on. saw a rose that was open so that little, Isn't that cool? Little so, so she was able to share about how she feels about who she is and just how she feels about the about being her. And then the second one, one was about her relationship with Papa God. And I share about that one. 
What colors did you use? Uh, I used blue and gray. Um, and I saw a diamond, and that symbolizes trust for me with Papa God. Uh, um, trust for provision, and um, like he sees me as a diamond, like I'm precious to him. But he also has trusted me with his diamonds, which are Come on. all of us. Um, so it's just a, a symbol of trust between us. Isn't that cool? Wow. So if we can tell like that just that just opens up our heart to understand her relationship with Papa God and how she feels about that. So she's being really honest and transparent. And then the third one was about what Jesus um, showed you about what he wanted to take, what was preventing you from being you. Um with blooming and being in this new season, I've sometimes felt very inadequate. And at first I was going to draw just this brown box of not enough, and um, then I just saw a treasure chest and said, and God was saying, like, this is, this is really what you are, you're, you're a treasure chest. You just, you feel like you've been misplaced, like the, the little lock to open the treasure chest has fallen on the ground. <laughs> He's saying, you, you are a treasure chest, like I put everything in you, you have everything you need. You just need to, you know, put your little lock or your, uh, the part to open it back on it and open, open it up. up. <laughs> just like the picture I did, like we you have to open it up to know what's inside mm -hmm. and sometimes we forget, well where, is there a key, is there something? So that's huge for her to understand that part, that's huge. And then the last one, what did you, what did you see about your garden where God took you? Um, so at first it was a meadow, which is like my safe place with them. Um, but then I just saw diving into the water and then coming above the water. And um, oftentimes there's this imagery of, of walking on the water, of taking that step of faith. And in this season, I've been dancing a lot with God. And so I saw um, a point shoe going on to the water. Like, Come on. Kind of so huge. And blue is revelation, so that's really key for you. So, so you drew the birds representing what you've learned from your parents about the fact that they always travel in twos and that you will always be with God the Father, He'd always be with you. That is, that is such a cool revelation that you got, and I love how you put the purple and then you put the red over it, representing how much you've grown from that relationship. That's huge loyalty that He's, and that He's extending it to you, which I really like the way that He's extending it to you. And I like the way that you feel like you like like you both are in this together. He's not above you, he's not far away from you, but he's just right there with you. And just like the two beasts, it's like they're gonna fly together. Like it's something where you, you saw that there's much so many places that he's gonna take you. And I like that feeling of flying, like you're gonna be with him. And so and so it's not just gonna be on the ground, but it's gonna be above. Which which could represent heavenly realms as well. I, I love that. It's amazing. There's so much honesty in this piece. I, I love the detail. I love the way that you created that. This is awesome. And it's a reminder of am I letting these things like keep me away, control my life? Okay, I really like this one because you should always have play in a garden and having that swing. It always represents having fun and like like sharing going up high. Like you have such clear patterns of color, but also clear patterns of what what things mean to you. And um, and I love the mountains, the sky, the colors, the flowers, the the water. How there's so much life in your future. There's so much life in in what God has for you, and it's so clear. It's so vast, and there's so many different like here it's real simple but here there's so much more to come like like okay where are these mountains going to take you where is this going to where is this going to take you so and i love the fact that now there's there's blooms there's flowers there's growth in this one too that you can see it's, it's beautiful i think you have great symbolism in your in your 
art, period. I think it's beautiful the way that you, because you know, a sun, a sun's gonna be coming up, and the more that, the more that the sun touches, the more, the more glory is revealed. And I feel like this is just a, a perfect word I have for you, but. When you when you see the sun on the water, it's reflective. You see the, the gold highlights, whatever pink highlights. I feel like you're gonna see as you let, shut down these walls that you're gonna see so much of, of your heart being revealed as far as the glory that God's gonna give as you do that. That it's not it's gonna be transparent. So it's not it's not like God's gonna what's the word I'm looking for? The things that you've gone that have tried that you tried to protect your heart from are going to be the things that reflect his heart the most because you've had to let him down so it's been difficult for you whereas this other part's been easy you know, some things that's easy to reveal other things that are not so I feel like that was just a word for you that represents you walking through the path with possibly darkness on either side God getting you through that path that's huge that he's made a path and, and I don't know if you realize it but I see Jesus face. Do you know that you drew? There's his no there's the kind of thrones, there's his nose, there's his mouth. That he's he's actually helping you through the darkest the darkest areas of your life. So I saw that over that he's with you. And that that's beautiful. I love I love your honesty in this and the beauty of that and how he makes a way. You know? It's huge. We just released to you, Alyssa, a whole new way of thinking, new paradigms, and that God would shift off, wow, what the enemy trying to lodge in your heart to make you feel afraid and to make you feel like you had to protect your heart. And we thank you, God, that now is the time for all, every wall to go down, that the covenant of the blood of Jesus that she's drinking is going to take off all, all the masks or fears that she's had to walk in, and that you're going to make that path straight for her. So we bless that in your name, Jesus. Art and drawing has never been something that I've been good at or have even really tried in a serious manner, but today it was kind of revealed that even if there's an area of your life that like you're not super good at, the Lord can use it to reveal something or um, like he isn't looking to check your artistic talent or your abilities. He's looking to see your heart behind it and what you are willing to give to him through your art and what he will give you in return for letting yourself go. <laughs> I just feel um, really fantastic. It was a great experience and um, yeah, freedom. <laughs> yeah, it's very freedom releasing and um, I feel like soaring like an eagle. <laughs> We're so fortunate today to be in a class like this one here, where we have members from many countries coming in together and speaking about the same thing, which is the love that we have for God. And here together, we discover the creativity of God and how we can engage in that creativity. And through that creativity, we discover healing, we discover revelation, and we discover family. And we get to know each other. We have a bond here where we honor, honor one another. We respect one another. And this is where God's love flows and explodes in our heart. And we are, and we are so thankful to be uh, in a place like this at this time. And we can sense an explosion. And we can sense the hunger being satisfied in one sense, but in another sense, moving us on to a greater level, a greater experience. I am so fortunate to be here and see the next generation move in such a power and such creativity and such freedom that I never experienced before. Such a wonderful opportunity to come here at Bethel. Bless you. Jesus, we say, God, have your way with us. And we pray for the freedom, the freedom of Christ to be in us. That God, we remember the garden. We remember who we are at every point in our lives. And I just bless them to walk in the footsteps of you, Jesus, and to never forget that you're always, always with us. And everyone said, 